Researchers in northeastern Japan are giving health checks to hundreds of young people from a town near Fukushima Daiichi. They're trying to estimate how much radiation the residents were exposed to in the early days after the 2011 accident at the nuclear plant. The checkups are happening inside this building. The people getting examined don't want their identities to be revealed. They're from Namie. Many residents went to areas northwest of the town after the accident without knowing radiation levels there were high. They convince municipal officials to offer tests for people who were 18 years or younger at the time. Around 850 children, or about a quarter of those eligible, want to be examined. The researchers will collect blood to look for changes in chromosomes. We will do our best to notify the examinees of the results as soon as possible to relieve their concerns. Regulators in Japan have been reassessing their rules since the Fukushima accident. Officials with the Nuclear Regulation Authority have drafted new standards to protect reactors from earthquakes and tsunami. The guidelines address active faults, which inspectors believe could run under at least two nuclear facilities in Japan. The standards consider faults active if they've shifted in the past 120,000 to 130,000 years. But regulators say that time frame could be extended to 400,000 years ago if faults are hard to identify. Any plants deemed to be sitting on active faults could be shut down. The guidelines also require plant operators to prepare for the highest possible tsunamis for all reactors on site. Operators will have to implement safety measures, such as building seawalls to protect facilities from monster waves and minimize flooding. The new safety guidelines are expected to be passed into law by July. Japan's National Police Agency plans to beef up security at nuclear power plants in case of terrorist attacks. The agency is requesting nearly $20 million for the next fiscal year. This is almost four times the budget for the current fiscal year that ends in March. The funds would be used to buy more machine guns and bulletproof vehicles. Police officers are stationed at nuclear facilities nationwide and guard them around the clock. The agency will also buy shields and other equipment for officers patrolling remote islands. This includes the Senkaku Islands in the East China Sea. The agency says officers will be able to protect themselves if attacked by foreigners who enter Japanese waters illegally. An expert panel of Japan's Nuclear Regulation Authority says a nuclear reactor at a power plant in the central part of the country could be over an active fault. The experts drafted a report on a newly found fault under the Tsuruga plant site in Fukui Prefecture at a meeting on Monday. They said it might have moved within the past 120,000 to 130,000 years. The draft says the fracture's direction and other factors suggest that another fault could be directly under the plant's number two reactor and could be active. NRA official Kunihiko Shimazaki expressed readiness to hear opinions on the matter from other experts and the plant's operator, Japan Atomic Power Company. He said learning from others would be helpful in compiling a thorough report. Government guidelines prohibit building key nuclear facilities directly above active faults. Officials from the West Japan Railway Company are bolstering their disaster plans. They've begun stockpiling supplies for passengers who are stranded after a major earthquake. The rail officials sent food and water to a warehouse in Osaka Station. They'll distribute the rations if a strong earthquake shuts down train operations. The officials estimate that up to 4,000 passengers could be stranded. A company spokesperson says they plan to store emergency supplies for about 50,000 people at 58 major stations by the end of February. Japanese researchers say residents of Fukushima Prefecture were not exposed to levels of radiation that would damage their thyroid glands. The researchers at the National Institute of Radiological Sciences attended a symposium in Tokyo on Sunday to explain the results of their study. The impact of radioactive iodine on the thyroid gland is difficult to detect. 
as the substance quickly dissipates. The internationally permissible level is 50 millisieverts. The researchers studied tests conducted soon after the accident at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant and data on radioactive cesium to estimate the amount of radioactive iodine absorbed by residents in 12 municipalities. They also calculated the amount taken in by those in other places with a simulation that shows radioactive iodine spreading from the plant. They estimate one-year-old children in the area exposed to the highest levels received a dosage of up to 30 millisieverts. The estimate can be made more precise with data on the individual's movements at the time of the accident. An expert panel of Japan's Nuclear Regulation Authority plans to issue a warning that a fault running under a nuclear, nuclear power plant on the Sea of Japan coast could be active. The panel will include its finding in a draft report to be presented at its meeting on Monday. NRA official Kunihiko Shimazaki and other experts are examining fissures beneath three nuclear plants, including the country's lone operating plant in Owe Town, Fukui Prefecture. The draft report will say an analysis of nearby strata suggests that a fault under the Tsuruga plant in Fukui that's been newly found in the government study might have moved sometime in the last 120,000 to 130,000 years. This means the fault meets one of the conditions to be declared as active. The report will add the fault's direction and other factors to indicate that it could be an extension of another fault running directly under the number two reactor. Based Based on the assessments, the report concludes the fault under the reactor might be active. The expert panel will submit a report to the NRA after hearing opinions from the operator of the Tsuruga plant, the Japan Atomic Power Company, in its next meeting. The company opposes the NRA's assessments, saying they have little scientific basis. Government guidelines prohibit building key nuclear facilities directly above active faults. If the regulators decide that they will ban restarting the number two reactor, it would be the country's first restriction of a nuclear plant's operation since the NRA's launch last September.